Uh, Pen Tim here, how are you? I have been so welcome. Thank you. Just stopped to say hi, I haven't spoken to you for a while. Hi, how are you? I am as I am, good. Yes, things are well. Uh -huh. Good. What do you know? What, how can you help us? Uh, things will come about as they come about. I'm helping as much as I can with oh, your... You. with letting people understand in their minds where things are coming from. There's much confusion right now, but it, it's being helped. Thank you. It will continue to move forward at an interesting rate. Interesting rate. Yes. Uh, is it true that I'm present in the colonies? You were at the colonies. You're not there now. Oh. Was I there physically? Everyone went to the colonies. But no one seems to remember. <laughs> Was it Gryffindor colonies? Well, technically yes, but revamped for the situation. So there's actually two colonies called Colony 1 and two colonies called Colony 2 and two colonies called Colony 3. They're shadows of each other. And it was just to give an idea of how they would look in these different um, colonies. But no one has remembered. There was a malfunction somewhere. <laughs> no one remembers anything. Uh -huh. I see. We need but some, so they will do it again. We need some some numbering system to be fixed. Maybe they can give some names or fix the numbers because two ones is confusing. Um, they, the other thing that happened in the colonies that was unexpected was that people became younger looking. Hmm. They were looking 20 years younger than the actual age, which was also not expected, not part of the plan with bringing anybody to the colony. So it was interesting that this happened. Mm -hmm. Other people would see you as 20 years younger. Mm -hmm. So it was physical me, not my higher self. Not your higher self. No, you went physically and it's the remembrance of it is in you somewhere. Okay. We're not sure what part of you it's in. Uh, but it's there somewhere, but they can't find it. Uh, just a few minutes ago I was meditating, I went on the other side, and at the end of this short dream I met a young girl, dark hair, slim, pregnant and she was showing her belly to my wife and as usually I do I ask for permission and then I placed my hands and did some Reiki on the baby. Mm -hmm. Was it by any chance my baby? I will check for you. Thank you. Yes. Hooray! What's Once again, a father. They really like you. What's the name of the girl and what's the name of the baby? The girl's name is Sandia. So she's not a human? No. She is a hybrid human Pleiadian. Sandia. Not Sentia as from Centaur, so serious. Uh -huh. Sandia. Sandia? Yes. Yeah, Sandia. Let me see. Well, Sandi Antara, yes, but Sandi, yes. Sandi Antara. So she volunteered to become a mother? Yes. And she would be feeding the baby and bringing them up? Yes. Is it a male or female? It is a female. Yay, you like having daughters. Excellent. And who is the... Uh, so she is a mother? Genetically? She is... 
they've taken you and Oksana's DNA and put it in her, so there's three DNAs within her. Uh, and the Hers, yes. yours, and Oksana's. And some extraterrestrial? No, just those three. So sure that will be a human child? It will be more of a human child than any other species. What culture would be brought on? That is being decided now by the council. Hmm. She will be with her mother. The mother will go to whatever, count, whatever area that the council dictates. Would there be a surrogate father? There will be men there, yes. Hmm. What would be his name? I do not know who they are putting in charge of that. But he will be very fatherly. Excellent. But they want you to come and be with the child sometimes. Yes, I would wish so much so. Even though you can't be with Peter and Nina all the time, they're making it, it different with this child. They're going to try anyway. Very nice. Yeah, early months are when I feel the highest bonding with a child. Thank you for the news. You're welcome. I am Kinjin. Kinjin, welcome. It is so nice to see you, to, to have you. Thank you. I just came to clear up the difficulties that people are not remembering the colony experience. Okay. There may be some problems with that, so we are waiting to see what the diagnosis is of several of those that have gone and have not remembered. You would be one of those. Okay. You would be one of those that we would want to um, visit. Thank you. I might, will be much alert. Yes. Be alert. It will be at night, of course, when you are in dream state. But we want to see if, if they, the information turns up in dream state at all. So it will be a spiritual visit or...? No, they will visit you, but they want to check this, your dream state. There are ways to do that, yes. So the visits to the colony will be physical? They were physical. We want to see why they have not turned up in any form, in any person that is gone. And the future visits will be also physical? Yes. And for how long will they be absent from the bed? Um, not long. Minutes? It would seem like minutes, yes. Excellent. But maybe only seconds. But um, depending on how accurate they hone in on your vibration and how easy it is to take out. Okay. Uh, are you aware of our proposals for the activities in the colonies? I've heard some of them. I have much things to do rather than coordinate the activities in the colonies. I have someone else for that. Can you connect us with them? Uh, I will try. Thank you. Well, yes. Yes. Why, why yes? Oh, yes. Hello, who are you? Hello, I'm Max Steinberg. Please introduce yourself. I am the key. Hi, the key. Uh, sorry for being brought without the warning. Uh, I was asking Kinjin to bring someone responsible for our activities in the colonies. Silliness. What, what are they? What do you mean silliness? Not for you. Oh. I don't know. Uh, we have proposals. Have you, are you aware of the proposals? Not yet. Um, 
So we had a webinar where we discussed at length, maybe an hour of discussion of the proposals of what we would contribute in the colonies, what we would like to do there. And uh, the, the, there is also today posted on our website, there is a textual summary of those proposals written by someone else. The colonies were set up to mirror those of Grukvignir, which we are a part of but not a part of. You have to understand that they are the political part over the kingdom. The kingdom rules the planet in that one specific way, and the Grukvignir is the outer government. Do you understand? Yes. Um, and so we have to go through them with everything. So at this point, colonies one, two, and three are just a shadow to give you an idea of what those colonies are like on Grokvikmir. We will probably rename them, but at this time they are just one, two, and three because it's easier because they are exact shadows in some ways. Yes, okay. So giving us a itinerary, perhaps, of things to do is down the road a bit, should I say. That would, what does that mean, down the road? That means later. Why didn't he just say later? But anyway, it is, would be under advisement. But as the coordinator of this new challenge, I see that there's many things I must do before we can initiate any of these new ideas. But don't be discouraged. Organization is needed for all things. So, tell me some of your proposals that I have not read yet. Uh, the main idea is that we want to help the humanity to ascend. Of course. And we want to play more proactive part than just being trained. We want to be proactive and come up with ideas and be treated as equals in the discussion. We will be treating you as equals in many ways, but you are not part of the Federation, so... But you are future Federation members, we would hope. So, equality is not a word that I would use, but we will take everything that you say under advisement. We are persons. We are from Earth. Yes. So we are in a position to propose things for Earth and act, act as Earth representatives. Yes. So in the Federation we won't be equals, but on Earth we are representatives. Yes. And therefore we are entitled for initiatives. Your representation is very well and good, but to be, to stand up and take a leadership position at this point is not necessary. Because we have things under control, we understand. We understand how you feel, and we do take that into an advisement we are still learning who you are, um, and we're still learning about your culture even more every day. So forgive us if we seem um, impudent, but we are not. We are taking all things under advisement, and your lead, you may have many leaders there, but one should speak for all. It would make it easier. Yes, I hear what you're thinking. You're thinking that there are many ideas from many different people. Why can't they give, give their ideas on their own? But we just need to listen to one and not many. But the many are speaking as one. Okay, uh, I understand what you're saying. Um, it's impossible for us to come up with one unless one just proclaims to be presented others, we have conflicting ideas. Ah. 
We will work on that. But we can create committees. A committee is fine, as long as one person speaks for the committee when it's done. Excellent. That's what we propose. Well, that is what I propose. Excellent. That's what we propose. You that the I... one, the many, speak as one. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. Good. That is what I spoke. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. So, we see the contact coming, and we want you to be prepared for the contact, and we want us down on the, on the ground to be more prepared for the contact. Yes. And we see what, come, what might be coming, what scenarios might be coming after the contact. And we have very good ideas how to make these scenarios better and affect them in a positive way. Again, from the ground. Yes. So these are our suggestions. And we would like to discuss them with you and have activities in the colonies and the committees which would propose specific actions for this. I will read those for these proposals. Thank you. Are they on your website? Yes. Where are they under? So that I can get to them more readily. Yes. Uh, one of the summaries is posted today. And what is that called? Executive summary. Executive summary. Yes. Yes. Then there is my book, number three. Yes. It has the same ideas, just explained in more detail for aliens. That has already been read. Thank you. And there was a webinar about three days ago where we discussed those, and you can see a lot more justification there. It was mostly me speaking in the webinar. And it says, it starts with the word proposals for the colonies. YouTube proposals for the colonies. I will review it. Thank you. I will go now, if there's no more questions. I really appreciate your visit. Thank you for, for going forward. Jim? Yes.